Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Boku Cats. Episode, like, what, 33? Holy shit. And I'm your host, Boku Satsu. I want to say, first off, before we start this, I'm sorry I did not, like, upload, like, a video, like, like this podcast episode yesterday. There's a reason. One, I, uh, was working on my review, and two, I just came back to the Mario movie, and I was tired after uploading and watching the movie. So, so, yeah. But, uh, don't worry, I'm here on this Sunday night talking to you guys about, about, well, life. <laughs> well, not life, but we got, like, a, we got, like, a lot to talk about. Tokyo and not Tokyo and what's gonna happen and what, and where's the stay at my challenge at right now. So, let's begin. Okay, uh, first off, my, my latest video, my Grand Zeal review, I worked my, I worked my butt off all day for that I worked, I worked my butt off all day on that video, no lie. And uh, when I uploaded it last night, it got a copyright claim. A false one. Don't worry, I sent a dispute in. It will be taken care of. So, so sadly, yeah. I, I'm going to say this. We had the chance pre-support. We, we had the chance pre-watch the video and support the video as well. Because that's all I can say right now. Because... Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, YouTube, you're, Jesus Christ, YouTube, you're on crack. Wait, Boku, how is the copyright claim? So, apparently, I used an instrumental song in my video. Wait, well, yeah, I didn't, by the way. An instrumental song. You know, you know, the beat of a song without no lyrics, that. And, uh, they said, and they, and, uh, they thought, and they said that was copyrighted. But here's the thing, I didn't, I didn't use an instrumental an intro metal uh metal uh song. Now I used an eight bit cover that was, that was way more clever on my end. And Toei not Toei <laughs> You two I'm I am i am gonna guess I'm, I'm gonna guess it was a fucking bot. <sighs> content I clean content I D claimed that thought hey hey this is copyrighted. No I sent dispute in with my evidence to show them that it was wrong, because yeah, dude, this dude, this is like the third fucking time this shit happened to me. Now I want to talk about around 2020. I made a video called "Why Comedy Z is the Worst Anniversary Show." That video, I, I think that video still, I think that video still on my channel. But uh, I used the eight bit cover over Corzer to be clever. Meanwhile. After 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 upload the video, it got it got a false copyright claim. Don't worry, I sent a dispute in, and uh, and and dispute, and dispute worked. The second time is when I use a eight bit cover of Dragon Ball GT Dan Dan Koko and uh, that got copyright claim. That sent dispute in again, and and the video is the video is no longer copyright claim. And also tell it not tell it. Also YouTube, I don't I, I don't get your logic because the the cover I use was from My Hair Academia. I use a cover from I use season three opening Odd Future eight bit cover for for the picture for my montage at the end of my review. I want to change I want to change up the music so yeah. But I don't get you I don't get you YouTube. You guys think copyright claim my freaking Black Sun or Jeet video when yet yeah, both of those video had both of those song both of those, both of those videos were using eight bit covers, so why is this one different? Why? This is stupid. This is stupid. That's just literally stupid. Imagine putting all your hard work into it and YouTube saying nope, boom, content ID claim, and apparently I'm not the only one. So last night a YouTuber that I watched. Name Rhyme Style. He went. He went on a full rant on YouTube. He went on a full rant. On, he went on a full rant. In fact, on Twitter because Instagram, YouTube age restricted his uh video, his three idiots video. Yep, the age restricted. Don't know why. I mean, yet, yet for that video, it's just him and his friends. It's just him and his friends playing an anime video game that's TBY Seven. So why would you age restrict a video game that that talk why why would you age restrict a video game that 
why would you age restrict a video game that that an anime video game that is TV White Seven, by the way? I think TV White Seven. God damn, I can't. Why would you why would you age restrict a video game? You two. Oh, for record, for don't want to know what game I'm talking about. He was playing a modded version of Budokai Tenkaichi 3. And I'll put the link in the description for the video. But yeah, I watched the video when it came out before I instructed it. It was, it was the funniest thing ever. So, you two, why are you, why are you Asian streaking it? And also, he tried, he tried to send a dispute into it. Didn't work. It didn't work. It wouldn't let him. So, yeah. YouTube, yeah, so yeah, YouTube back on again with his stupid bots, and that's just unacceptable. That's just unacceptable right there, YouTube. You just do better, okay? Do freaking better, because this is not, this isn't a good sign. And for fuck's sake, I know YouTube I watch called Cheese, called Cheese, no, I know YouTube I watch called CJ the Champ. Made a freaking amazing video on a uh, uh, okay. Made a freaking amazing video, and uh, it got it got taken down, and he can't upload. And he got I think he got a strike. <sighs> thanks, 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 YouTube. You guys really, <laughs> you guys really know how. You guys really know how to make us feel welcome here, stupid. Fucking stupid, you two. Enough with the fucking bots. Okay? Enough with the fucking bots. Okay, that's just annoying. My God. <sighs> anyway, moving aside from that tangent. Just, I'm just disappointed in YouTube. So... Let's talk about my IRL life, shall we? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, it, and it's a, it's a, it's always part of the fucking uh, thumbnail. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. I uh, finally left my job. I quit my job. I'm kind of say I put I put my week notice in, and uh, well, I f I I finished my last day of Friday. Well, yeah, last yeah, yeah this Friday. Well, oh uh, well, well. Last Friday, I meant to say. And how do I feel about it? I feel pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Cause my goodness, dude. I'm not gonna, I'm going to say this nice way. Working there for, for the past three years, I have been treated unfairly. I've been, I've been, I had, a, I had a lot of dark moments in there. I did not feel like I did not felt like myself working there nonstop because that place was just getting on my nerves and uh my goodness I just could I just couldn't take it anymore and I said mys and I said to myself it's time for me I said to myself last year that one of my goals for twenty twenty three is to lose well not lose is to quit my current job and well I did it <sighs> because oh my goodness I felt so relieved. So, Boku, where you can start your new job? Well, I got orientations tomorrow at my new job, and, uh, honestly, dude, this, this, the new job, I'm not gonna lie, it's way more nicer, way more, re and way more relaxed than my, current, than my old one. How do you know? I got the vibe. I got a, when I go into, like, certain places, I get a type of vibe and energy from people, and, uh, I got, I got it from there. I sent like no negative energy from there, and that and that, and that and that's a good thing. Cut my cut, cut my old job. This way too much negative energy, dude, and uh, that and that and uh, that got to me, unfortunately. Ah, oh, thank freaking guy left. Because oh my goodness, for those who know where I used to work at, I think I say this. Okay. So, do you guys know about the restaurant called Culver's? Culver's, it's a fast food burger. It's a fast food burger joint that sells custard, curds, cheese curds, and burgers, fries, and fish, and many other things. I used to work there for three years, and well, 
I'm going to say that my experience working there, not the best, I can say. Because, dude, I won't go into full detail, but I'll say a few, I'll say a few things I did not like about working there. So, this happened, uh, yeah, two, this, <clears throat> so this happened around, ah, uh, uh, yes, 2020. It was snowing, by the way, when this happened, and, uh, I, and, uh, they wouldn't let me, well, at my location, it's just my location, my experience working there, my manager wouldn't let me wear my jacket, unfortunately, when it was snowing again, because, because, it was not, because, yeah, my manager, my manager wouldn't let me wear my, my big puffy jacket outside the cold, because at the time, I had to wear one of their jackets, and here's the thing about their jackets, their jackets are shit, <laughs> excuse my language, their jackets are garbage. It did not fit me not one bit, and uh, I said, and uh, I said to myself, "Fuck it, I'm, fuck, it, I'm just gonna go out on the call." And well, I had no choice. And yeah, one of one of happened after that. I got sick. I got sick. Like no joke, I actually got sick from it. <sighs> and uh, <laughs> my mom had enough of it. Well, she took, well, I'm not going to, well, let's just say that uh, she called, oh boy, she called corporate, right? She, yeah, yeah, she, yes, yeah, she called, uh, she called corporate, well, there, yeah, well, well Culver's corporate, and sent a complaint in, uh, Ryan, in my, uh, sorry, sorry, my boss was not happy about that. And well, then, then the owner of that, then, then, then the owner at the corporate that I worked at, I used to work at, came came right next to me, apologized for that, and said that he's sorry that it should have happened. Also, just because, just because, last year, the last year, the manager, the manager's wife got the manager's wife was sassing me when she asked me when, when I uh. She she was sassing me when uh <clears throat> she was sassing me when she asked to open the, asked me to open the door now and I'll try to tell her but uh but uh, your husband just said and she said her these are her words who's in charge me that's right me I'm in charge so listen you gotta listen to me I'm like okay dang God I tell no one about this because well. I was, well, I, well, 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 I was ready, I was ready to release it, but, but yeah, not just that, I got, not just that, every time I'm going to, every, every time I'm going in there, like, working in my own business, like, every time I'm working in my own business, I get, I get, I get yelled at, I get, I, I get my freaking manager giving me weird looks, like, like, for fuck's sake, I'm literally doing what you guys are telling me, so stop getting, so stop telling me what to do. I got fucking yelled at by one time, one time by one of my managers for a dumb reason. For a dumb, 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 so fucking dumb reason. She was, she was yelling at, she was yelling at me. So, the context, I was, to, so for the context, she was yelling at me because she thought, she thought. She thought I was like messing. She thought that I did say I I I wasn't listening to her. Yeah, sorry. So for context, she was yelling at me. She was yelling at me because she thought I wasn't listening to her. Nope. No 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 no. Nope. Nope. I was listening to her. <laughs> I was, and uh, everyone everyone saw it too. Because my goodness, that just. That's just stupid. And let's just say that, let's just say my last three days working with her. <sighs> Thank God I don't see her anymore. God, that, that place. For record, do not attack. I want to say that. I'm not going to say anyone's names on here because, well, 
that's the cabal. I'm I'm not I'm not trying to dox no one, but I'm just telling you guys my experience working there. So 2021, I said to myself, you know what? It's, no, it's a brand new year, and things gonna change, right? Did it change, Boku? Nope, not the slightest. I still felt like complete crap working there. <laughs> I was like in a bad mood. I was stressed. I was tired, and that place was treating me like crap. And I, I want to say this. I gotta say this. Because because of cold, because of the cold one time, I had to go buy a jacket from there. I did. That jacket complete. That that jacket not the best. What do you mean, Boku? Well, for one, it doesn't have a fucking hoodie. And uh, well, like I said, okay, the hoodie isn't available for the uh for the males for the for the jacket. My goodness, this ja the jacket I wore was complete. And it was not helping me out in the slightest. You guys, here's the thing. I I'm I'm the type of guy that will follow the rules and listen. But you gotta give me a good reason to listen. You gotta give me a good reason to follow the rules. But working there, I felt like I was being silenced. And it was getting annoying as heck. No, scrap that. It was getting annoying as fuck. As a black man, I said not. <clears throat> I'm not bringing race into this. No, but I'm just going to be honest with saying this. As a black man, it's, it's annoying seeing how people in media, in, in real life, being silenced by other peop people. My, <clears throat> my experience working there, I felt like that. And it was, I couldn't handle that anymore. And thank God I left. Because a few of my managers weren't happy that I left. And I said to myself, whatever. I don't care. I did I, I did my part working for, working for you guys for three years. And well, well, I'm no well, I'm no longer your employee. Because my goodness, dude, I was this close from critting. No joke. I was this close from critting. And thank God. And thank God. I no longer work there. <sighs> that place got me angry for customers, for 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 my time working there, and other times employees treated me like crap. It gave me looks and tell me to do shit that that made no fucking sense. By the way, and yeah, I yeah, when I'm always that I get treated like the, I get treated like I'm the bad guy. Yeah, that place that that place was not that that place was totally unfair to me and not the and not the best. <sighs> Thank God I left. And we're gonna miss it wasn't all bad. I made a lot I made a lot I made like a lot of new friends I made a lot of new friends there. Sadly, they left, and I, and I turn and I turn understand why they left. I still, I still talk, I still talk like a few of them this very day. They, they left for a valid reason. I don't blame them to be. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But uh, yeah, work. My experience working there for three years was good and bad, and I freaking left. And well, how did I feel leaving? I feel happy, really. I feel like a big piece of pain was released from me because my whole, because my 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 mental state the whole time working there was not in a good one. It was holding me back from my big potential, and we just started year two, and uh, because of that, I can now focus. On other on other things in my life. So me leaving this place, it's the best. It's the best city. Nah, it's the best uh, freaking decision I ever made, and that's good. Can't lie, saying that the money was good. Yes, it was. Then uh, 
then uh well my then well then uh well my house got cut a little bit due to the fact that uh, it's summertime. Well, it's almost summer now, and uh <clears throat> that place is getting like a lot of new employees. And I said I said to myself, yeah no, yeah no, I can't I can't do this anymore. So yeah, I I put I put my week's notice in and uh, I left. <clears throat> but yeah, that place is yeah but yeah that place is good without me now. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> so, anyway, moving alongside from that, yeah, I, I, I left my job, finally. So, I want to talk about this now. I started my new job, technically, uh, uh, this week. Because of that, I want to say this, my scheduling is going to change a little bit, I can say. My, yeah, my scheduling, my scheduling is going to change, uh, going to change a little bit because of this. Since I'm, since I'm starting working at a new, since I started, like, since I'm going to start working at a new job soon, my orientation, my orientations are tomorrow, in fact. Once that's taken care of, at that, at, at that, I start working there. So, there gonna be times on the weekend. You, you, you guys, will get, ah, sorry. There gonna be times on the weekend. You guys are gonna get like a new video or a tour review, and set and such and such. But yeah, there'll be other times. Yeah, I won't be uploading due to me working. Yeah, the same. This same go. This goes as well for the uh, for the podcast as well. So yeah, I just want to make that little update there. Because I know that I know that people go, people gonna say, "We had the new video, with the new video." I'm sorry, I'm working, guys. <laughs> I'm working, and uh, well, I really need the money too. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, just want to make that clear and fa- clarify for for those, because yeah, this is a big change in my life. I left a job that I did not. I left a job that I had like no fun at because in the beginning it was fun, no lie. But later down the line, it wasn't the, it wasn't the best. It wasn't that fun. It's, it was getting more and more annoying. And my mental, and my mental, uh, my mental health. Well, I would say mental health. Actually, yeah, no, my mental health, and uh, my my and my and my uh, mentalness, mental. In my mental, mental, who the fuck say mentalness? Fuck it. My mental health in general was not the best working there. I felt like I felt like I was going insane every day working there, and I left. So yeah, but yeah, guys, but yeah, guys, that's the update. Just want to clarify, and do not worry. The next video. It's gonna be on Bill Jr. for Tori for my for my figure review. Wait, Boku, what? Look <laughs> at this lot there. Hey man, listen. Twenty twenty one was not twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. I sh- I I was planning on doing that grand review. Never did unfortunately due to the fact that I was well. Do you think that well my old job I did had the energy and uh, I was drained as fuck working there. Oh, by the way. But I mean, here's a fun thing about hey, here's a little fun a little fun fact about me working there. So I work so I so I work there for five hours every day. And guess what? I never got a break. Yeah, no joke. Dirt, no joke. I I never got a break from working there. I had to ask them to give me one. And yet every time I did think they they're being so negative and, and sassy me for it. It's bullshit. <sighs> I just got clarify that. So yeah. So so moving on so moving on from that. <sighs> so moving on from that. Uh back on so back on as I was saying. But yeah. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to do a grand review in uh twenty twenty one. Never got around to it for because because work drained the crap out of me. I was too tired as well. <sighs> My old job meant to say. 
but uh but uh yeah but yeah I did a video the video on my channel now it's copyright claim unfortunately don't worry I said this beauty and uh, it's, take, it's being taken care of and I and uh, I'm gonna be honest, and I'm gonna be honest. I already know that I already know that I already freaking know that this is gonna win without a doubt, because I sent my evidence into the video for the music I use. Yeah, YouTube. <sighs> and uh, sorry. And yeah. So yeah. Please watch the video now, guys. Can I give you all your support? And uh, I'm actually not, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie though. I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised how the video is doing that good right now. It's almost at 100, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, how the fuck is it almost at 100? Mine is a copyright claim, the false copyright claim. I'm actually, I'm actually shocked how good that video is doing, because there are moments I look at my channel saying to myself. How the hell is this video doing this good? Because people, because the Zenkaiser Black Review didn't, didn't do that good for, for for ratings. But me doing like a Comrade Fig Review, boom, it's that good. Like, like fucking hell. I think like, I think like this, I think like the last like non-Toku, no, I think like, no, I would say not toku but the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Review did that good. It's almost like, it's almost, it's almost like what? It's almost around like what? Yeah, sorry. It, and almost around like what? 300 views? How the fuck is that even possible? My fucking Beast Morphin Yellow video got no likes, but yeah, it's almost at 400 views. Like, Jesus Christ, y'all. And yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't review Lightning Collection that much in this channel because of that reason. Well, I know this reason. I don't see, I will I do, I do review them, but uh, I'd be selective on uh, which ones to review, which one not to review. So yeah, I still gotta review uh, Damon and uh, Kira <laughs> when I get the chance. I did do Zato or Izzy. Well, I'm not, well, I'm not gonna do Izzy's unfortunately, because that figure, oh boy, that figure is uh, we all know what's wrong with that figure. If you know, you know. <laughs> so, so, so there's like no reason for me to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah. <laughs> but uh, any <laughs> anyway. But yeah, anyway. Moving us alongside from uh, moving alongside <laughs> from that. <laughs> God, can I gonna say that? Yeah. So. So yeah. If you guys want like lightning collection, if you guys want like lightning collection reviews on this channel, like more, I. I can do it. You just gotta tell me if you guys want it or not, because I don't know. I there, I don't know because lightning collection is a uh, is a controversial topic, in my opinion, for this channel, and it'll do good. But at the same time, where people where people like it though, because well, I do want to go review Coda, get my full thoughts about how I feel about that figure. But at the same time, if you guys don't want it, then well, I won't make it. Because while I become because they'll I can't, okay, I have like a lot of figures I bought. No lie, I, ha I have like a lot of figures that I bought last year and the year before, and I made like no videos on them, and, and I'm making that up this year. So all the figures I bought the past two years, I'm making videos on them this year. Because well they well, well they deserve it. <laughs> and did not worry. Bill Genius will happen. I have that figure. Don't worry, I will make a review of him when I get the chance. It's his thing. 
for for me, this is just me only. Making a review, making a uh, freaking review on a uh, figure takes like take like all my energy. No joke, no joke. I'm not. I'm be, being real. I'm not like fucking the amazing main toy review who main toy review who upload multiple toy videos a day. No. Working on one video drains the crap out of me after all that, and I, and I don't have the energy. I don't have the energy on me to do more. This go for pictures as well because being a photographer, it drains the crap out of you, and you have you have like no inspiration. Cause dude, no lie, no lie. Working at my last, working at my old job drained the crap out of my inspiration because I was not happy because that place was just making me more and more unhappy, and that sadly, sadly that affected my uh my mental state. Well, what's the mental state? No, that affected how I felt about taking pictures last year. So yeah. When I get the chance, I will do it. I will do. I will do a review. I have the figure right next to me. I gotta go take pictures when I get the chance as well. So yeah, but don't worry. His 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 video will be his video will will be up very soon. Well, what's he doing? But uh, I will do his, I will do his review very soon. So yeah. <laughs> so moving along, time for that. Let's talk about. So let's talk about Toku. Oh boy, Toku. <laughs> Just watched the latest episode of King Oldger and Jeets today. Not happy with, with, with Jeets' episode. Spoiler alert, but, uh... <sighs> my boy got eliminated. k Again. I'm fucking mad, cause, dude. I wanna, I wanna hear something, cause... First, Nago. Sorry, Neon. Then K1. Two of my favorite fucking characters in the show. Got eliminated. The fuck, man? And then, and, and then we got Buffus, bitch ass, who's being a fucking, well, I can't call him Baron 2.0 because I didn't like Baron that much. Buffus reminds me of uh, Ren from Yuki, but at the same time, he had like that fucking, uh, Katauta slash Oja vibe to him. Except except the difference that uh Katauta and uh Asaka aren't emo. Well 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 Asaka just Asaka just a crazy madman. Katauta just an asshole. But a lovable asshole, but yet still an asshole. No joke, I love that character. No lie, I I I I love Quick Talk. I love Quick I love Quick Talk. Those character in Ryuki, but at the same time, I fucking hate him because he's an asshole. Like I love him, but at the same time, dude, you're so annoying. And the fact that you're fucking annoying boy in the show, you're a annoying character. <laughs> Nothing I want to talk about. In every Toku show that every comedy show that Noe wrote for. He, he he always had that one kid. He always had that one kid that he votes for, and that and that makes them that and that makes them and that makes them a complete asshole or a dick. We got Drake from Kabuto. We got Kaiser from Five, and we got Kitauka slash Zelda from Yuki. I call that the Inoue Pack. Yes, to be fair, you could you could add someone from Kiva in here, but at the same time, I didn't add Kiva because well. Because well, Kiva Kiva is not good with show, in my opinion. So yeah, moving on. But yeah, back on back on to Jeets. I talk about I talk about Buffer. Okay, here's my opinion on Buffer. I'm not the biggest. I don't hate his character. I like the actor. But that, but the character itself right now is just going through a emo, emo dark face saying. Man, every comrade must be destroyed for my wish to bring back my friend who was dead. I'm like, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay. So, so basically, motherfucker, motherfucker just pulling a fucking gin. A fucking just gin from zero one. You are Takahashi, what, for this show? 
That's right. You and Takahashi wrote for this show. Ay, ay, ay. You and Takahashi did vote for, uh... You and Takahashi wrote for this show. He, he, he's right for, he's right for, forgot, he, he, he's right for Jeets. And here's the thing. Out of all the Ray Ross shows, Jeets is my favorite by far. No joke. No joke. Out of all the Ray Ross show, Jeets is my favorite. Jeets is my favorite by far. Is it perfect? No. But... Here's my here's my opinion on the past three Ray Wall shows in my in my perspective. In my yeah. Zero one, I thought it was good for the for the fight scenes and the suit core and the suits and music. But the story not the best for multiple reasons. But one, they but one, they try they try to make it very political, but yet they fail in a bad way with it. Two the freaking human gears, <laughs> the freaking human gear arc and method gym by arc in general. Well, they're not the best, and also, also they kill black. Also, uh, just the, the just the just the record banner off and elf in the room. The final episode of the uh competition arc, they had they, they had a black guy in there, and they check it out. And uh, and why would they and why would they have a black guy? Well, politics. Hmm. 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 And oh yeah, that, that same episode, the black guy dies and never came back to life. And yet, I just forgot about that. Like, no joke. He could have, he could have reprogrammed him and saved him, but no, he dies. Never come back to life ever again. The show just forget about him. <sighs> so yeah, Zero One's not a good show. I love the fight scenes. I love the suit. Not all, but 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 hey, some each your own in my opinion. I love the music. The fucking music. The soundtrack is amazing. The show. The <laughs> the fucking uh. The fucking uh, progress key are part, part, part of few of my favorite toy line, well, favorite gimmicks and Kamen Rider. But the show itself, not the best. Not the best in the slightest. <sighs> yeah. And for those saying, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Zoom and political. Black Sun political. Now, now, here's the thing. A couple of days ago, my friend Hawkeyes on Twitter to talk about how there how how there was an episode zero one that that copied the George Floyd pose, and that got a lot of traction. And people and people are trying to say and people are trying to say and people are trying to say that is a political black sun version of it. No, no, here's the fucking thing about this. Black sun since day one, based. Since Day one was talk about politics, talk about racism and all that in the show. That's why I fucking love the show because I felt connected to that stuff. No joke, no joke. As a person of color, I have, I have met, I have my, I had a lot more when people, when people were being racist to me, giving me dirty looks, and treating me like crap. And guess what? I saw my fucking self in Black Sun as a show. I, I get, I have. I said it. I said it in the past in many other episodes on my, on my podcast, but I have like a personal connection to the show. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I like it. And also, let's be honest. Let's be honest, guys. Let's be honest. Let's be on. Let's be honest here. We already. We already fucking. We already fucking knew that. Uh, we already fucking knew that. That Black Sun could reference it because well, shit. The the show fucking referenced a lot of stuff from. Japan and American culture about about but what but what's going on in my society. Just saying. Kaijin's lives matter. Kaijin's life don't matter. You guys do know that's a reference to Black Lives Matter and 
like no joke. It literally is a reference to Black Lives Matter, and that and that and, that, and that's why I like it. Okay, that's not wrong. <laughs> that's not wrong. I didn't mean like I'm not okay. Okay, pepper is there. Yeah. Kaijin and Black Sun. Kaijin's talking about Kaijin lives. The Kaijin talk about Kaijin lives matter. The whole protest with that and uh. The whole pro the pro protest about the whole protest with that is basically well, it's a reference to Black Lives Matter. No joke, it literally is you look at it. It's a reference to Black Lives Matter. And that's the point and that's and that was the point that Toei was trying to bring for Black Sun. Because dude, here's the thing. What made Black Sun what what made, what makes Black Sun so good is that the dynamic with the characters is the best part about it. You got, you got, you got culture. You know, you, okay, pretty simple. You got Notice Go. You get, you got Notice Go who want, who want to copy Kai, who want to copy the human and make Kaijin the, the only race on planet Earth. And you got culture over here who doesn't want that, who want, who, who want all the injustice to stop. And uh, Kotaro knows that the only way for this to happen is is violence. And uh, he and uh, he thought and uh, he thought after killing the Century King, the Creation King, my bad, it would stop. It didn't because the, the war is still going on. The war is still going on. The show after it ended. Meanwhile, zero one on the other hand, yeah, no, yeah, no, we, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. That's just that. That's my thought. Anyway, moving on. Sorry for that. Saber. Ah, saber. Cool suits. Uh, the soundtrack's pretty good. The fight scenes are good as well. The characters, uh, yeah, no, not the best. Yeah, yeah, no, not the best. Don't, not, yeah, no, not the best. Not the fucking best, dude. Not the best. Saber is, uh, how can I say about Saber as a whole? Saber! It, yeah, it, Saber's still my least favorite, like, Raywa season for Kamen Rider. Because, my goodness. The Wonder White books are okay. The, ca the jingles are catchy. But si besides that, I really don't like how the drivers look for the for the swords. For them. <sighs> I love Sabella's. Uh, yeah, yeah. I love Sabala's and, uh... And her and Ryug, Ryoga's uh, henching devices. Those are cool. I like Buster's giant ass sword. I like Slash's and Kenzon's. Yuri's as well. Fucking Falcon as well. I love those swords. But I hate, but I hate Toma, Rintro's, and uh, Kento's swords. Hell, fucking Caliber, fucking Caliber had the best sword out of them all. I don't know, dude. It's just. Motherfucker, motherfucker just has one book to just to put next to the, uh, just, just to put, motherfucker has a small book to put on his belt, then press it with his sword and say, hey, shit, and bam, one slash comes out and, and boom, Shaku Dragon appears. Yeah, Saber's not good. Saber's not good, in my opinion. If you like Saber, that's fine. For me, nah, no, Saber's not good. Saber is, uh, best way for me to describe Saber. Saber is, uh, it's the type of show you'll say, okay, so why do people hate ghosts? Oh. Okay, so, Saber is ten times worse than a ghost, and yeah, it basically is. And I like, and this comes from someone, this comes from someone who actually likes ghosts. I don't hate it as many others do. I don't hate it as many others do, so I want to keep that in mind. I do think ghosts is better than x -Aid. Don't at me. <laughs> and that's a spicy hot take. I I will die on my hill. I will die on the hill for. 
Is it S tier? No, go say it's X tier. S tier. I'll say I think I think best way I think, I think the best way for me to describe girls, I'll put it in a uh, B tier because it shows B tier or C. But yeah, it's not S tier. Rather doubt, hell no. Nah. <laughs> okay, in us revise. Fuck. Well, if you watched my podcast episode last year, you already know how I feel about revise in general. <laughs> Revise the first half Revise the first half is actually really good. I enjoyed the hell of it, no lie. If I if, if I had to give if I if I had to give like a rating, probably a solid nine or an eight. It's not perfect because because there are a few things in the plot that are leaking in my opinion. But yeah, solid nine or eight. And, uh, yeah. The second half is where the show goes down here. And, uh, I have a, I have a little bit of a hot take. I think Revice second half is way worse than Bill's. And, and Bill's second half isn't even all that bad, to be honest. Because as people talk, as people talk about, as people talk about how Bill's second half is the worst thing ever, I'm like, no, it's actually not, to be honest. M- move my bias aside for, move my bias aside. For the for the second half, for Bill in, in general, but no, no, it's not the worst thing because, well, guys, let's be fucking honest. I think I I think Bill second half get way too much hate. Help fucking revices is fucking revices is uh, fucking revices second half is way worse. I'm sorry, guys. Just no. Just I had I just had to say it. Revice second half was the most. Boring thing I have ever watched. We got we got Sakura who's supposed to be the badass female writer, but yeah, no, she's a fucking bitch. I shouldn't be saying that. No, no, she's she's fucking whining twenty four seven about about shit she can't do. I'm like, my god, woman, shut up. Hell, fucking hot, fucking hot. I tell her to girl up. I fucking love Aguilera. My boy Tommy Key got treated like crap. They become over demons in one episode, but yet the same episode, Sakura gets a useless point of a useless pointless form that makes no sense. Just saying that form is ugly. Don't at me. Then Juga happened next episode. I hate Juga. I really don't like Juga. No, I'm not watching the spinoff special. Cause fuck that. Juga ruined George. Juga's character. No, that no, I'll say right here. In the beginning of the show, I fucking loved George. He was funny. He was an asshole too, yes. But he was fucking funny and hilarious. But I can't lie by saying that uh the second half really made me dislike his character due to his brain due to bring up his, his damn daddy issues multiple times. Like, okay, I fucking get it. And yes, I know we watched this a family show, but my goodness, his fu- they brought up his fucking daddy issue so many times. In the second half, and I was getting annoyed with it. I'm like, can you stop it, pre? And just end, and just end his freaking arc already with his dad. But no, they keep bringing it up. And oh, okay, he became Juga because of daddy issues. Like, really, really, really. Really, I don't really. And when that happened, they ruined George's character, in my opinion. Because my fucking god, I just got mad and mad and mad. <sighs> and oh yeah, don't don't get started. Don't give me some of the finale. What 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 on the finale, bro? Q, you don't you don't like it? Be honest, you no. I didn't cry. I didn't get sad. I just got angry. <laughs> no joke. I got angry and bored because of my God, this show was dragging the hell in the second half. It was just getting annoying. Ay, ay. If you want to hear my full thoughts on Revite as a whole, well. I have a podcast episode on my channel. You can hear my uh, my thoughts on it. And uh, full oh boy, it was it was something. It, it's a it's, it's a one hour 
it's a one hour podcast episode of me talking about my pros and cons and how I feel about Revice as a whole. Still, I still think I still think that's one of my favorite episodes I ever made because of how many fucking views that shit got. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Excuse my language, but yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And uh, best way for me to describe Revice is this. It's mid. First half is good, but second half. Yeah, no, the second half. The second half fucking sucks, dude. It's way worse than Bill's second half. I'll die in that hill for it. <sighs> we guys, we guys could be one of my favorites, no lie. But just fucking hell, there are so many kids in that show. There are so many kids in that show that 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 have horrible writing. Like, okay, I know I should be talking about Jeez now. Hold on, I just want to get this rant out of the way. The writing, the writing for Revice wasn't the best in my opinion. I'm not, I'm not bashing the writer. No, I know, I know, I, I'm not bashing him. No, but this, this is my criticism right here for saying this. Characters like a <clears throat> characters like a Sakura. I'm still trying to figure it out. Well, I'm still trying to figure out what is her reason for becoming a comic writer. Because the only thing the show the only thing the show told me is that uh she wants to be strong and fight strong people. I'm like that's it? Hey, wait, wait, that's it? Wait, that's it? Because that isn't that isn't a good reason. She had a good <coughs> Oh sorry. <coughs> sorry. She had, she had a good debut, but at the same time. But at the same time, I don't I don't see her I don't have I don't understand what her reason for becoming a common writer. Daiji has one. Iki has one. Hell, the fucking dad has one when he became common writer Veil. And became Death Stream as well. Fucking uh Tamaki has one, even though t- I'm not a big fan with you don't not you don't not the big fan of how they treated my boy in in, in that show. My goodness, they should they should have made him over his demons than Hakaru. I don't really like Hakaru. Yeah, I think the kid is getting way too much hate. I I just think I just think the kid is getting way too much hate. No lie. What's wrong What's wrong with Hakaru? I can't I can't I can't say it, but my goodness, every day I go on Tokyo Twitter, people shit the. People shit on his character. Yeah, but here's the thing, guys. You guys know that fucking Toei. You guys know that that Hakaru's actor's management management had to call Toei to uh because because Hakaru character wasn't doing jack shit in the show. His management had to call Toei to make to make him do something in the damn show. Oh, look at that! He became a common writer. Dude, like no, dude, like dude, like legit, no joke. What the, what the hell was Hakaru doing the show? I don't hate him, but yeah, he didn't do that much for the show, except for being like, except for, except for like doing like what, stalking Sakura. Besides that, he didn't do that much. My boy Tamaki fucking left the dead man. He was protecting Aguilera. I fucking love this guy. Well, he, he won my favorite character. He won my favorite characters in Revice, without doubt. I fucking love this guy. He's a dork. I love him. He treated Ag- he treated Aguilera like 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 a fucking sister. And the funny thing is that she treated Aguilera slash Hana treated Tamaki like a fucking older brother. You kind of say or little brother. Either which either either way which one you see it. And I love that. I fucking love that. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out what the. I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck is Sakura's character in the show. Because, well, to me, she doesn't have one. She's just. She's just there. Just. She's just there. She can kick butt. I mean, okay. And what's her reason? 
what's the reason to what's the reason to come in Kamara? Because the show never explained that. And well, I didn't like that. Yeah. I didn't I didn't like that. Now not one bit. I didn't like that not in the slightest because it felt like that God, the last time I took a care of my eye got the exact same treatment for not for the last time I took a care of my eye that got the exact same treatment are the fucking Packer Rangers from Loop Pet. Because what are their reason because like what are their fucking backstories and reasons for being Packer Rangers? Oh, oh, the sh oh the sh oh the sh oh the show never said, huh? Well, that made fucking sense. <laughs> because my God, my God, that the fucking care the fucking care to suck ass. Excuse my language, but I'm not gonna try to I'm not gonna bash Blue Pat. I already made that clear multiple times how I felt about the show. I have a fucking podcast episode. I have like a podcast episode. I need to stop. I need to stop talking fast. Let me try again. I'm not gonna back the show. I have like a a podcast episode on it on my channel. <laughs> you can go watch it. Cause I made I made my I made my I made it very clear how I felt about the show on my second rewatch. So yeah. <sighs> So anyway, moves on for that. And Jeet, yeah, sorry. And Jeet now. Uh, yeah, Jeet is my favorite Raywalk show right now. Out of the main three, out of the main four. Not perfect, no. But I feel like Yotaka Hashi learned his lesson from the backlash that was zero one. And uh, yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, Jeet. Oh God, this late episode. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, we got a lot to talk about for this late episode. Spoiler, <laughs> spoiler! If you're not watching the late episode, G, please do not watch this episode. Watch the watch the episode first, then come back to the podcast. But oh boy, we got we got a lot to talk about. Okay, first off, Ace's mom is the goddess of creation herself. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And Ace's is the reason. Ace's mom is the main reason why fucking Kawa lost his parents, and why Nago, <laughs> and why Nago well died. I'm not too fair, too fair about the Nago part. I'm not. The, the show, the show, the show never said it, but but yet the subtitle said that the subtitle said that if a god created the world, you got you, you got you got to lose something for another happiness to happen. And well, I'm implying that uh, Ace is. I'm implying that uh, I'm implying that K while parents died, that was sadness, and Neon Neon dies a kid, that was sadness to create Ace, who was well happiness. And K while was not my boy. K was not happy about that. But my God, Ace, you're basically the main reason why everyone why the whole fight. Ace, you're basically the main fucking reason why why everything like fucking shit in this show. Not just that, but my lord, dude, your your mom is basically your mom is basically God. Like she's she's pretty much God. <laughs> damn, just damn. Your mom your mom is basically God. You're, dude, you're base, dude. You're basically the reason why two of your friends are no longer. You're, ba you're basically the reason why two of your friends are no longer are no longer together in the show. <laughs> well, I want to say that no. You're the main reason why ne why Neon well died and found die found out that uh see what found out that uh found out that uh. Her uh, spiritual, her uh, adult form isn't technically her actual human form. The act, the actually isn't a, a human form, because she, because she doesn't have a home. She, because, because she doesn't have a home anymore. And my boy, and my boy, Kira lost his parents because of you. Jesus Christ, dude! What the hell? 
fucking hell, Ace? Damn. I swear, you fucking Tendo and Sukasa would be good friends. No no cap or no lie there, but got my lord. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Uh, damn. Yeah, Jesus just... What the fuck, dude? And we're not even on the debut of the final form, but my lord. And Buffer just getting my nerves at this point. I mean, like, fucking hell. I, li I, I like the suit, but my god. If I'm gonna be... I'm just gonna be real with y'all. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I don't care for Michi... I don't care for Buffer. <laughs> I don't care for Misunaga. I mean, like, I like his suit. I like his suit. I do. I like his regular suit and his zombie slash, uh, Jamado form suit. I like those suits. While, while, while I prefer his, his, Jamado, his, Jamado, his Jamado slash zombie form more, the character itself is just going through a freaking emo slash gen redemption arc, and I don't like that. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. What the fuck? <laughs> so, moving on to King Oger. Oh, boy. King Oger. What the fuck? Okay. So, this episode was fucking weird. This episode was pretty good. I gotta go rewatch it at this, after this episode. After I'm filming this. Recording this podcast. But, uh. Let's see. Recaps. Gia got a new mech last episode. And, yeah. It was out of control. It was, it, it was attacking it was attacking the King Ojin mech. And uh Gia is Gia is being framed as a as a fugitive because of his king. We yet we we, we yet we try to call out his brother who's the king, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I fuck I'm be honest with you. I fucking love Rocket Rakios. I fucking I, I fucking love this motherfucker. Gia's brother. He's just a hater. He's a fucking hater. I love that. He's a hater. Bro, listen. Put him in the same room with Uncle Ruckus, Stink Meter, Frieza, and D.L. Bradford from JoJo. Those five would be the hating crew of fiction. Because they just love to fucking hate. Frieza's a, Frieza's a fucking racist. Let's be honest. Frieza's a, Frieza's a racist nonstop because this, because this is a motherfucker... Because this is the same guy that killed the Saiyans, that, and that went to Namek, and abused the shit out of the Manekians, fuck, out of the Manekians, out of Piccolo's race. And he calls Goku and Vegeta filthy monkeys. <laughs> he calls them monkeys all the time. <laughs> and yet, when he does that, he gets his ass beaten. Then you got Uncle Ruckus. Oh, God, we don't need to talk about Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> if you don't watch the Boondocks, you, we, you already know about Ruckus. And, but Stink Meter, oh, God, Stink Meter is way worse than Ruckus. Now, that guy's a hater. Now, that guy's a fucking hater. Him and Dio would be good friends without a doubt. <laughs> Dio, Dio just loves to hate people in general, including the Joe Star bloodline. Ruckus hates the fucking Ruckus. No, okay. Stink me there. Hey, the Freeman. The Freeman bloodline. <laughs> wow, curse you. <laughs> fucking goddamn. I'm not, I can't do a Stink Me impression. <laughs> but fucking hell. Then we got Raculous, GS brother. This nigga, this, 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 fuck. This nigga's a hater. This motherfucker just a hater, okay? He's just a fucking hater. He's just a hater. I fucking love it. <laughs> I said I said this on Twitter to my friend, but Rackers would be the type of guy who say the N word in public and not and not give no fucks about it. Because he basically would say the word nigga in public. I didn't mean to say that, my bad. But uh he would he would say he would say the N word in public and not get no remorse about it. Bro, just saying he would Ha <laughs> ha 
Okay. So this so this episode we got our nerdy tech blue ranger and and, and our and our miss perfection yellow ranger fixing the mechs and uh and uh, and, uh, and uh, they were having uh, they have like a duel on who could who could win. In that same episode in that same episode she told our blue ranger about about what happened to her parents. And I'm, I gotta say, damn, I have to feel sorry for her. It didn't, then, 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 then our Blue Angel was like, oh, that's a bummer. That, 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 that's a bummer. That actually sucks, not gonna lie. Unfortunately, I never met my parents, so I'm adopted. But hey, it's what it is. <laughs> I actually like the chemistry. And yeah, funny, yeah, second episode, he was uh, simply for her. <laughs> Well, third episode, my bad. He was sippy for her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> boy, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and, uh... <clears throat> and, yeah. <sighs> this episode's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Himiko, the Yellow Ranger, uh, wants wants the uh Kuraga, wants uh the God, wants the King Oja Mech, basically just to find basically just to find a killer who killed her parents. And I'm like, damn. Okay, that's a that's a that's definitely a reason why that uh that that's a valid and terrible understand terrible reason why you are. You want to do that. But my lord, what the fuck, dude? Rita. Rita in our fucking black ring. I forgot his name. But, uh, what the fuck, y'all? Rita, I like you, okay? You're awesome. But my goodness, what the hell are you doing? I thought you said Gina was, I, I thought you said Gina was innocent. Dancing in the final, in the final scene, with the fucking ki oh, God damn it! <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Now next episode, Gia gotta fight. Now, now next episode, Gia gotta go fight his uh brother, the hating ass nigga himself. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies, but the hating ass motherfucker himself. <laughs> and yeah, his brother had the better suit. And yes, I know it's a fucking weed paint, but here's the thing: the gray and black works perfectly. I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of Gia's suit. I'm not G yeah, yeah, so I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of Gia's uh, Ranger suit. I just, I don't like it, dude. I don't know. Just, I can't say revive from the color red from that suit. It just, it just bring that bad PTSDs of Saber. <laughs> Ay, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> okay. So, Ultraman. Oh, boy, Ultraman. I actually want, I actually want to talk about this segment because I got a little bit of hot take talk about Ultraman. And Shin Kamen Rider. So, I want... So, okay. Before I go talk about my opinion on the Ultraman... Z dub the latest episode that just came out this weekend. I want to talk about something else. So for those that don't know, late we go lately. Shin Kamen Shin Kamen just got announced this week that it's coming to the U.S. And that's great. That's amazing. Yeah, but there's an issue. It be confirmed that it be confirmed that it be confirmed that uh, it's coming to Regal Cinema and. And AMC as well. Well, yeah, I think so. But here's the problem: the f the Fandango app right now is being weird for saying that the tickets are available, but yeah, it's limited for that, and that's an issue because apparently, apparently they only on apparently they only like this. Nah, apparently it's only like what one day they have announced for the movie. And here's my issue with this. Toei. Toei. Please stop doing this. Make it three fucking days long. 
because Shin Ultraman did this, and guess what? Shin Ultraman made more money in America than Japan. And Super Ride was fucking happy about that. You know, you know himself. I know himself. The man that made Shin Ultraman made Evangelion, Shin Godzilla. He was happy about that. Toei, please stop. Limited. Toei, you need to stop being stubborn because my fucking god. Uh, Toei, Toei, pre. You fucking. You, Toei. You know that you have fans over here. You know that you have fans over here. You have consumers over here in the in overseas that watches your show, that buy your products. But you're being stubborn about it. Because, no offense, mine is Shout Factory. What the fuck is going on? Mine is Shout Factory. What the fuck is going on with the. with the. with the US Toby. YouTube account. Because the only shit that's on there is fucking Metal Hero and other Toku shows. But yet they but yet they hype up Kamen Rider a lot on there. And yet and yet only two fucking episodes appear. That's it. From Showa all the way to to Revice. Toei, stop it. Stop it. Stop being fucking stubborn about it. Because, my lord, you're being so hard-headed. It's annoying. Like, fuck's sake. I'm excited that, I'm excited that Premium Bandai Flying Pro Comrade figure is on there. Hell yeah, but guess what? Guess what? People, guess what? We don't have a legal way to watch those shows while pirating them. And, I, and no offense, but I don't want to torrent a show. And I don't want to get fucking porno ads on a damn pirated website every time I go watch a new episode of Jeets. Or any other comrade show. Toei, stop being fucking stubborn as hell and make the fucking Shin Comrade movie three days long. Because it's getting annoying. You have fans over here. You know that for sure. You have fans over here and the rest that watches your stuff. That buys your toys. Hell, I'm one of them. And you're being stubborn about it. Take a note from Super Bye. They're making the fucking Ultraman franchise over here in the U.S. fucking big. They get a lot of notice. No fucking joke. And I love that. Meanwhile, Toby's just being damn stubborn about it. It's just getting annoying. I can't... For those who want... I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. We can't have Sentai over here in the West due to Power Ranger. That, that, that fair makes sense. But move Power Rangers out of the way. Move Sentai out of the way. Kam Toei. Shin Kamara should have three fucking days in the theater, not just one. And that's getting annoying. That's really getting annoying. Because you, 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 you guys are so fucking hard-headed and stubborn about it. And it's just like, my fucking God. You, I get it, okay? You, don't, you guys don't listen. You guys don't care for, for overseas fans. You made that clear multiple times. You don't. And it's nowhere in hell you guys listen to this podcast. Just hear me. Just, just, just Let me say this. Just hear me out for saying this. Make the event, make the movie, three days of movie, make the movie appear, make the movie stand for three days in the theaters. Just saying. Because Super I did this for Shin Ultraman for the sub and dub. And uh, and that movie did pretty good. How I saw it, too, in sub. Day one. Just Toei, please, stop being stubborn. And let's listen. And for those who want to know why, and for those who want to know why we're not getting a dub, well, oh, this is an easy reason. Kamen Rider over here, well, it's to, well, totally stubborn when it comes to bringing Kamen Rider over here in America. And unfortunately, there's no way in heck we're getting a dub. So yeah, and don't worry, the movie, the movie's gonna be a sub. The movie's gonna be a sub, so we're all good. <sighs> I just 
God, I just really hate. God, I just really hate. I had to say that. Okay, so back. So, so, uh, back about Ultimate Z. The latest episode. I actually love this, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm sorry, but this dub, that's really good. I think it might. I, it's a way easier way for people who love anime to watch this, dub, watch this dub. Like, literally dub. If you can't stand subtitles, then if you can't stand subtitles, then this dub is this dub is for you. This dub's for you. And uh, it's pretty smart, super right choice to make Ultimate Z the first like English dub over here in the U.S. Very smart, and I love it. <laughs> I actually love it. No joke. Very good stuff. But yeah, this dub is uh, fu it's funny. It's funny. It's really good. It's on point for the for the uh for the lip sync, you can say. Really good. I <laughs> yeah yeah. I had a fun time watching it. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, if you have, if you have not had the chance, all four episodes are on the Super Bowl YouTube channel. Just type in Ultraman Z English dub episode one two four and it's all there. Really good stuff. Ah uh, yeah yeah <laughs> okay, uh what else? oh yeah I saw the Mario movie yesterday, I actually enjoyed it not gonna lie, and uh I guess gotta be honest for a second, god damn it, <laughs> just gotta be honest for a second, why the fuck is Peach a badass in this movie? Cause dude, Peach made me uh, god damn I can't even can't keep on sipping for a video game character, well not the first time but uh. Peach made me feel something in this fucking movie. Like my goodness, this wasn't the original Peach. This is this wasn't the original Princess. This wasn't the original Princess Peach from the video games. This felt like a different version. I fucking loved it. Not gonna lie. Jack Black killed that Bowser and his fucking song, the Peach song he he sang. It was funny. <laughs> it was funny. The movie, the movie referenced a lot of games, a lot of moments from Mario Media, from from Mario 64, Paper Mario, Mario Kart, Mario Galaxy, Super Mario World, Mario 3D Land, a lot of Mario, basically. And it was pretty good. Also, for those who want to also want to say that they they uh they uh. They got Mario original voice actor in the movie, the cameo in the first scene as 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 a guy playing the video game. Got <laughs> not not no joke, not spoilers. Move, move spoiler why move spoilers a uh, move spoiler aside. They got Mario voice actor to cameo the movie. And that was pretty good. For those that were complaining about 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 Chris Pat Mario, here's my honest opinion about it. He was Pretty good. I wouldn't say it wasn't the perfect casting, but his Italian impression was wasn't the wasn't bad. Well, well, slightly no. Seth Rogen pretty good, even though even though I had my issue I had my issue with that guy as a as a celebrity. His his voice his voice for a donkey was pretty funny. But uh, yeah. But yeah, the movie was pretty good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, yeah, guys, that's it for now. Thank for thank for all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow all my social medias in the description. And uh, yeah, yeah, guys, subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to handle trying to handle thousand subs this year. And, and well, with your guys' help, we can do it. And uh, oh yeah, next month or this or end of the month, expect like a unboxing video. Yeah. Yeah, for me. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Thank you all for watching. My name is Aaron, and I'm going to go to bed. Good night. Peace. Bye.